Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Today we are going to start. We are going to learn what quenching is. We are going to understand what quenching is. Earlier in our lecture we have discussed what is a GM counter. So we have discussed so many things. So today we are going to use understand what quenching is. So, in a GM counter, the phenomena of quenching is a process to save counter from spurious counts. What is a spurious count? A spurious count is a sharp increase in a count. When an electron here, you can see in your figure that when this electron, in, a, in my previous lecture, I've told you that when this electron goes to the wall, to the cathode to get electron it attracts electron but it gets more than one electron because of its attraction electrostatic attraction because of its electrostatic attraction it attracts more than one electron and these electron which are not required by this atom of neon this ionized gas this ion it was particularly this was the ion in that time when it don't have this electron so it require only one electron but the other electron which are not required by this atom or ion we can say goes here to the anode this anode these electrons which are not required by this atoms are called false electrons and when they go to this anode this anodes go these electrons from this anode goes to the counter and makes a pulse or a count which is known as false pulse jisko hum kya kehte hain false pulse ki jab ye electron yahan se false electrons anode se move karte hue counter ke andar jate hain when they move to the counter here they makes a false count these false electrons makes a false count here so so remove these false count we use quenching process we use halogen if we are using non organic quenching gas or we use ethanol butanol alcohol if we are using organic quenching so you might have understand what quenching is now we we better move to the types of quenching and we have generally two types of quenching one is internal quenching and the other one, other one here is external quenching so let's talk about internal quenching in the internal quenching the small amount of halogen of gas is added to the stop the spurious false electron making false count i've told you earlier that we use for example we've used br2 bromine we've used bromine bromine breaks when electron comes it absorb their energy and breaks then it recombines when the electrons energies when the energy of electron is been absorbed by this uh, this bromine which is present in a vapor form in this tube it cannot go to this anode when it does not reaches here it cannot make a current here and because of that because it cannot make that current it cannot make any false count ke jab wo yahan se bromine kya karta hai ki iski energy absorb kar leta hai when it absorbs this energy iske paas itni kinetic energy nahi hoti ke wo anode tak ja sake jab wo anode tak ja nahi sakta to wo hamare paas false count hame de nahi sakta theek to this was the procedure of internal quenching sahi main internal quenching aapko last lecture ke andar bhi samjha chuka hu to external quenching ki ab baat karte hain ke what is an external quenching in an external quenching a digital circuit is connected we have a digital circuit here which we connect to the counter which we connect to the tube with a gm counter electrodes 
ये जो इलेक्ट्रोड्स हैं हेयर यू कैन से हेयर इफ वी वी कैन कनेक्ट इट हेयर और वी कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट इट हेयर दे बोथ आर सेम सो इट्स ज्यादा सूटेबल ये है इट्स मोर सूटेबल टू कनेक्ट हेयर वी कैन एड एडिशनल पेन्स एंड वी कैन एड एन एक्सटर्नल क्वेंचिंग सिस्टम सो आफ्टर द पर्ल्स इज डिटेक्टेड वट दैट एक्सटर्नल क्वेंचिंग डू इट रिवर्सिज द पोलैरिटी इट रिवर्सिज द पोलैरिटी आफ्टर द पर्स इन कनेक्ट पर्ल्स इज डिटेक्टेड कि क्या होता है कि जब ये हम आप कनेक्ट कर देते हैं तो जो एनोड होता है वेयर द एनोड इज इट मेक्स इट कैथोड एंड वेयर द कैथोड इट इट मेक्स इट एनोड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मूविंग फ्रॉम कैथोड टू द एनोड इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम द वॉल्स टू द सेंट्रल रॉड हेयर वेन वी मेक इट कैथोड इलेक्ट्रॉन विल स्टॉप मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन इट विल गो बैक बिकॉज इट इज एनोड नाउ when it will go back then a radiation another radiation come here it will make an electron this electron gear here and we will get, we will get the true count kya hoga ki wo yahan se jo cathode tha wo anode ho jayega jo anode tha wo cathode ho jayega cathode se pehle electron nikal raha tha ab wo cathode kya karega us electron ko apne andar एप खींच लेगा उसको अट्रैक्ट करेगा पहले रिपेल कर रहा था फिर वो एक्सटर्नल सर्किट की वजह से क्या करेगा उसको अट्रैक्ट करेगा सो दिस इज अ प्रोसीजर फॉर द एक्सटर्नल क्वेंचिंग नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एडवांटेजेस एंड द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ जीएम काउंटर आई विल ओनली टेल यू द मेन एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट इट्स इट इज एक्सपेंसिव एंड और इट इज चीप आई विल टेल यू बट and i will prove that advantages and disadvantages in front of you so the first advantage is it is used to calculate the amount of radiation how it it is used to calculate the amount of radiation and it cannot calculate it cannot tell or calculate the type of radiation it only tells the amount of radiation you might have seen that when a radiation comes we have to go back to our diagram when this radiation comes to this neon atom or any noble atom here it ionizes it okay because of these electrons for example this radiation provides 10 electron and these 10 electrons move from this anode and goes here to the counter and makes and makes a pulse it make a pulse so you can say that there were 10 electrons no we cannot calculate these electrons we can not say how many the all the collective electrons are making one pulse so all the collecting el collective electrons are making one pulse whether they are 10 they are 20 10 hain 20 hain 25 hain jitne bhi hain wo ek hi pulse bana rahe hain hamare paas they are making one pulse so we can tell a radiation comes it generates one pulse another radiation comes it will also generate another one pulse two radiation comes we will get two pulses whether they are of two electrons 10 electrons five electrons we cannot we don't have any kind of interaction with that how many electrons they are making we we only want to calculate radiation and we can calculate radiation from this pulses so we can calculate the amount of radiation but we cannot calculate the type of radiation if it's a gamma radiation and another beta radiation comes gamma radiation is making a pulse of 10 electron a pulse which is generated from the 10 electrons a beta will come and it will make a pulse from 20 electrons both 10 and 20 electrons are making one one pulse for each so we cannot distinguish between beta and gamma ke gamma aur beta dono se ek se 10 electrons ki pulse ban rahi hai ek se 20 ki pulse ban rahi hai hamare paas to pulse hi ban rahi hai we can only tell it is one pulse we cannot tell from which radiation it it's been generated to ye iska ek advantage ho gaya 
और इसके साथ ही मैंने आपको इसका डिस एडवांटेज समझा दिया वी हैव डिस्कस द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस काउंटर जीएम काउंटर हेयर एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ दिस जीएम काउंटर सो अनदर एडवांटेज मेन एडवांटेज फॉर दिस इज इट इज सिंपल काउंटिंग सर्किट इट्स नॉट वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इट्स इंटरफेरेंस इज सो सिंपल यू कैन सी हेयर you can reset from this button you can go up down you can change the scale and it's very simple you can just calculate the readings here you can calculate the radiation number of radiation from this all procedure from this so we have discussed our first disadvantage now we will talk what that time is what is as that time डेट टाइम हमारे पास क्या होता है स्लो डिटेक्टर इट इज अ स्लो डिटेक्टर बिकॉज ऑफ डेट टाइम डेट टाइम इज अज इज अ पीरियड अ डेट टाइम इज अ पीरियड बिटवीन टू पल्सिस और टू काउंट इट इज अ टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन टू पल्सिस और टू काउंट आई विल राइट इट हेयर डेट टाइम इट इज a time period between two true counts okay so while the dead time is this the atom becomes paralyzed this atom here when it ionizes this ionizes electron moves here and it generates one count during this one count if another radiation comes where will it go it's already been ionized and it's not going to reionize again so it will pass it will penetrate without any ionization so for that instant of time the system is paralyzed the system is paralyzed for that instant of time and we cannot calculate any reading here any count here so this is the dead time where we cannot calculate any counts and it is 100 100 my it is 10 power minus it's about 100 mi microsecond i think 100 micro seconds you better check it i'm not sure about it but it was about 100 microsecond so this was the dead time and because of this dead time it's very slow another disadvantage for the gm counter is energies cannot be measured because of lack of differentiating ability i've told you earlier that a beta with a higher energy than the gamma cannot be calculated it is making pulse of more electrons carrying more energy but we only get one pulse because of that it generates moving moving electron moving charge generates current and because of that current we get pulse we cannot say that it's from beta or gamma or, or what energy it have so this was the advantages and the disadvantages for the gm counter so today i'm ending my lecture here and if you want any problem if you have any problem with this you can ask me you can ask me in the comments or you can mail me you have my mails the in daily physics at the rate of gm gmail.com so till then assalamu alaikum goodbye stay happy and stay safe